Hi guys, this is Alex from Mason Lifestyle. I hope you guys are doing well and they had a wonderful Easter weekend. I was busy with the kids. They had two different schedules because they go to two different schools. So it was the weirdest thing of days off, but even my daughter had a Monday after Easter off, which is kind of unusual, but okay. Um, but I got to do some sewing and I told you guys the last time that I have fallen down the Indie Patterns rabbit hole and I had returned some, um, that I had returned some patterns from Simplicity for Pants. So I went ahead and downloaded the Danny Shorts from True, um, True Bias. And guys, I like them. Pretty easy instructions. The PDF went together rather quickly, which, you know, it's one of kind of like my sticking points. And it still is, but I'm just getting over it. It just takes a little longer to make a pattern because I have to obviously download it, print it, put it all together, cut it, read instructions, right? And all that good stuff. But they're actually pretty nice, um, a pretty nice pattern for shorts and pants. I haven't tried the pants. I tried the shorts. But, um, and they also have, they have two different views for both short and long pants. They have a short view with an entire elasticated waist. And then the second view is, um, it's got buttons, it's got a zipper, and I would say two thirds of the waistband is elasticated. They're very nice pants. I had actually ordered this stretch twill from fabric.com and I'll go ahead and put a link on my blog guys because if something changes I can quickly update it over there but um I liked it fabric was fabulous to sew with and it was very nice it has a very subtle sheen which I'm okay with it because I'm sure that once I give it like 10 million washes that will wash away so I don't have a problem with that but um, I made two two muslins for the shorts because right it's the first time that I am using this pattern designer so I wanted to kind of get an idea how things fit and obviously you see the finished garment measurements but you don't kind of don't know where things are going to end up especially in pants right so I went ahead and made the pants right and I'm going to put pictures of it and I like them I like them. I went ahead and cut a size 16. Um, I like where they fit. I'm trying not to overfit myself. And obviously I'm doing this alone. So it's a little bit hard to kind of fit yourself. I would think that I could use some more room in the booty. So that's something to do um, next time. But they're actually pretty comfortable, guys. So I definitely, um, I definitely love this pattern. And I think if you are a beginner, it's a great pattern to have because again, you can start with an entirely elasticated waist. And when you feel a little bit more confident, you can always start doing, um, you could go ahead and do the zipper and also buttons and all that good stuff and just do something a little bit more advanced. But again, instructions are superb. And they also have a sew along, not a video. I don't know if if they have a video I never looked for it but if I had any questions had something went together I just went to their website and they have something step by step which is a very easy to just kind of review and go through it so that's what I've been doing and then I've also been upcycling a little bit guys because I'm sure as you guys are noticing when you're buying groceries and whatnot things are getting a little bit more expensive so I'm trying to see okay what fabric do I have at home, right? That's leftover, maybe a yard or a yard and a half, right? Or perhaps it is a dress like I did for this M7991. Guys, I did a so long video for this dress and, but guys, I have not worn it. So I told myself, what can I do? What can I make with this, with this dress, right? So I went ahead and detached the bodice and I added some um, pieces at the bottom and also some long ties and I made this um, this top which I can wear with a skirt or the pants right I can um, I can wear it about it's actually quite comfortable 
Um, I know that Simplicity has a pattern that's close to this, and I will I'll put the picture up. It's like a yoga pattern. It's pretty close, right? But if you're also looking for an indie pattern that is similar, you can also try Tilly and the Buttons. She just came out with this new pattern called Pearl. Again, a great pattern if you are a beginner. And guys, I'm going to try to start giving you patterns from the big four and the perhaps an indie pattern that's rather similar. So if you guys are kind of looking for something between the two, I'm gonna try to do that so you always have a point of reference, something that's similar. It may not be the same, but it'll be pretty similar. So I did that. So, okay, I'm trying to upcycle a little bit more. And guys, I also, I told you that I had gotten this pattern off of Etsy. It's M7812. I missed the boat, but I had seen somebody else on Instagram. She made a top. She made a crop top, which I'm like, ooh, girl, good for you. Not for me. But I went ahead and made view A. It's actually really nice with that same fabric. I think it's a little large on me around, around the neckline, but it fits. I like it. Great to wear with those Danny shorts or perhaps a skirt in the summer, cute pair of sandals, and I'm good to go. So trying to kind of use some of the fabric that I have around the house, right? Because I feel like sometimes we make all of these things and, you know, I told you guys sometimes I used to buy four yards of fabric. Now I don't do that anymore. I now buy fabric specifically for whatever I need. So I just do not have, um, that I don't have fabric laying around. So I'm really trying to use the fabric that I have left over. So guys, what have you been up to? Have you been sewing any indie patterns? Have you been sewing any of the big four? Did you guys see the new Butterick? collection for spring i'm kind of on the fence on it i gotta say it looks a little boring so definitely let me know in the comments below what have you guys been sewing and loving i'm seeing a lot of new patterns from indie designers so let me know in the comments below and i will see you later on this week as i have to tell you a little bit more about the maxi um the Max mother's day maxi challenge um and i'm going to show you what i'm going to be sewing for that all right guys